Very strange. Hello. I actually don't know what this is. I, I know what it is. I know it's a thing. Like it's it's a it's a thing. It's a trend. It's happening. I hear about it, and people will make references to it. Abundant reference is made to pickleball, but I don't know anything beyond that. It's like the George Foreman grill of today, or the uh, you know the trash compactor. If you're my age, you know that for a while everyone had a trash compactor, which just kind of smushed the garbage down a little bit. He didn't make it compact. It made it compactor. It made it more compact, but it didn't make it into a little bale of garbage. It just was this expensive, heavy appliance that, you know, was fun to watch the first time. It was no hydraulic press. But it was a fad. You know, pickleball, it's a fad. And this is a word that I discovered again last night. I mean, I know the word fad. I rarely use it. But I discovered it while Googling something about Michigan Mile in Chicago. Or is it Magnificent Mile? So I think I put in Michigan Mile because Michigan Avenue has this Magnificent Mile where Marshall Fields used to be. And so somehow I ended up at University of Michigan Ann Arbor's naked run that they do in the middle of the winter, which is called the Michigan Mile or the something mile. Well, once I saw one thing about it, there were these things about um, South Bend, Indiana, and Cornell and Ithaca, and I, I can't even remember, oh, South Carolina. All of these schools had weird runs in the 70s that weren't really called runs because we didn't go running, we went jogging, and this was just called streaking, which was a fad. So these articles in old local newspapers, typeset, a lot of them were in Florida. That's the other one I was leaving out, like Boca had one in 1974. I know this because I just looked at it last night. And I'm wondering now, is Googling something in the middle of the night with the illusion that perhaps you're going to fall asleep eventually, rather than just shutting it down and picking up a book and making it halfway down the page and just passing out. I wonder if that's a fad. Am I going to go back to putting on a record or a cassette or a CD, I'm just listening to it? until I have to turn it off because two songs in, oh, no, I'm in my zone and I just don't want to hear it. And I can just tune it all out.